What's up film fans, this is Talk Is Cheap Podcast, otherwise known as Quick Shot Reviews for Cheap Shot Entertainment. I am your host Luke and you as ever are the Cheap Shot Nation. We're moving heavily into the podcasting areas now rather than being YouTube based, um, but we do still put things on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. If you're joining us for the podcast then we say thank you very much and i'm going to speak to you today about speak no evil a sort of psychological horror movie it's like a reverse home invasion type thing it's the only way i can describe it it's quite disturbing it is a film by james watkins it's also written by james watkins starring james mcavoy who delivers a fascinating really scary performance playing paddy mackenzie davis playing louise dalton scott mcnary playing ben dalton and we see a couple who is on holiday meeting another couple who then form this bond and they say hey why don't you come and visit us and they go and visit um they find that their son is mute And as the story goes on, you find out exactly why. And I'm not going to spoil that because it is very much worth your time, this film. It's kind of along the lines of Black Phone and things like that, where it's sort of a slow build up. You start hearing things, you can't start seeing things. You start putting two and two together. And like I say, James McAvoy is absolutely spellbinding in this film choose the scenery right up and that is brilliant you know it's is so so good such a good actor um mixed reviews but i really enjoyed this one like i say it's um everything's subjective with film but i really enjoyed it and i'd suggest that you go and give this one your time There are other films out, obviously. There are other films going to be streaming, coming to uh, other streaming services and things. Don't think you'll catch this in the cinema by the time this gets released. However, it is, if it comes available, worth a watch if you love your psychological horror movies and or James McAvoy, because, like I say, it's really good. Scenery is really good. The... Um, sound design is really good and the reason that is really good is because we don't really have any music in this film like to build things up it's all in your own imagination and more and more I'm finding films are doing that letting you sit in silence waiting for something to happen and I really do enjoy that kind of scare Don't enjoy jump scares. Don't think they should even be part of horror movies. It needs to be a genuine scare. So the official blurb, a family is invited to spend the whole weekend in a lonely uh, lonely home in the countryside. So James McAvoy plays a character who's a doctor who has this nice house in the middle of nowhere, really nice car and all this kind of stuff. Um... Uh, But as the weekend progresses, they realise that a dark side lies within the family who invited them there. And it is an American family going to visit a British family. However, the American family live in London and obviously they travel to a farm, which is basically what the uh, what it is. And, uh, you know, the, the, the farm actually plays a huge part in this film because there's bits, there's secrets, there's things hidden everywhere and it's just, yeah, really good. Um, Top-notch film 
Um, and it's just great. And it doesn't feel like it's out of place in 2024. Because there's, um, you know, it's, it doesn't stick to a standard template by what you'd expect. Um, he, uh, James McAvoy, which I like say just owns this film. The, he, um, the other actors do try. Um, I thought the young lad was really, really good at conveying his emotion, considering he was, he was mute. And, uh, yeah, and the twist, the twist, wow, um, yeah, <laughs> and there's lots of twists and turns in this, lots and lots of them, um, so you have to be fully invested in this film to get anything out of it, the script, the overall acting is so, so good, and it's, again, so different to what you'd expect, um, It is absolutely great. Um, and apparently, um, just reading this up now, there is an original Speak No Evil that appeared on the streaming service Shudder. Other streaming services are available, but that is available through the Amazon Prime as an extra channel, I believe. I keep looking at it, thinking whether I should or not. And uh, I've not not pulled the trigger, um, but yes, it's a apparently it's an Americanized version of, but I really like it. I really really like it. It's a bit like the Silent House, um, that was an original sort of European film, and then the Americans remade it in Troll as well, which I've got Troll Hunter on Blu-ray which is a fabulous Norwegian film that the Americans got their hands on. Um, but yeah, if you've not seen that original, I think this is very much worth your time. Um, it's very hard to get this kind of subject matter over. It's very hard to get this kind of subject right because you've got that balance between realism and, and obviously wanting to watch a movie but um yeah i feel like this is quite believable because of how rural the um the location is you know they're really far out you know it'd take a long time for anybody to get there even if they could call someone there's no phone signal they're completely isolated now you know, lots of people I know, including me, say, oh, yes, I'd love that. But would you really, <laughs> in 2024, would you really love that? Or would you just be twiddling your thumbs, waiting for something to happen? Well, that is the question, isn't it? Um, if you've seen this film, if you've seen Speak No Evil, please do leave us a comment and let us know how you've took the film how you thought the film was and all that kind of stuff and that goes for any of the films that we review here on quick shot reviews once again i have been your host luke you've been the cheap shot nation and this has been speak no evil starring james mcavoy we're rolling very close to 300 movie reviews over the course of a couple of years and we can only do that with your support so thank you for your continued support and we'll see you next time goodbye